Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello, plum friends, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm back. I don't know when I will upload another video, but for now, this is the day when I feel a little bit better and I finally can sit. <laughs> So guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, week I was laying in bed with enormous pain in my back, but it's finally getting over and I'm so excited because I, I was dying, guys. <laughs> it was a difficult time. I was visiting doctors. I was having uh, different massages and I spent almost all salary on this, but I'm back. So here we are. I'm already tired to sit. <laughs> I hope you can see that I did not brush my hair today. I just put it in a ponytail because all this week I was having it in a braid. But let's just say that way that today is not the day when I'm really, really mm, worried about my appearance, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to get back to you to thank all of you for all these beautiful messages, for beautiful comments. Guys, I was reading all of these words and i was crying happy tears because i never expected to have such a beautiful community around me and i never excite never expected to have so many people who care about me because i'm so not used to it i'm i mean i don't even have too much friends to be honest and it's so weird to have people from all over the world or people from all over the world to worry about me i mean I can't even explain the feeling I am fe feelings I am feeling, but thank you guys. This is this is special, and I feel good about it. <laughs> I really am. I mean, all of these messages helped me to kick this so fast because previous times it took me over around ten days to finally stand on my feet, and right now it took me six. Well, seven, but I did it. I did it and first thing I do, I talk to you. <laughs> so thank you once again for being with me, for your support. And I mean, guys, even it's the... <sighs> Sorry, I'm way too excited to speak and I, you know how I love to make all these movements, but sometimes they're yeah, still painful. So. Also, I wanted to thank my first fan who decided to draw me and my pup Rocky. So in here I will insert a picture and this is me and this is Rocky. So thank you so much for this beautiful drawing. I can't wait to send this picture to my mom and she will print it out and I will hang it somewhere around my home because I love it. I mean, guys, it's first time when somebody draws me and to be honest, I collect portraits of me, of my boyfriend, of my dog and have kind of not small collection I, I think i have already like five portraits maybe and i love them all some of them i drew myself some of them i buy from the artists in the streets some of them was gifted for me as a gift so people know that i love portraits so thank you once again for this one i will add it to my collection and also speaking about something collecting it's kind of weird, but I recently received some comments and messages that people would love to to send me some plants. And I'm like, hell yeah, bring it on. <laughs> so to be honest, I am thinking of buying or renting a PO box. So let me know in the comment section down below, should I do it? Is it worth it? Because for now I think like, Three, three people uh, contacted me about that. So for three people, I mean, are you still want to do it? Because I would love to unbox some stuff because why not? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> enough about that. So today, guys, I want to talk about an experiment. So if you've been on this channel for a while, you will know that I was kind of into experiments in my channel and one of these experiments was posted one year ago and it was on last June, June 20th. So I was experimenting with my rubber plant and what I did. This is the rubber plant I am talking about. I'll try to pick it up. 
so this is a rubber plant I'm talking about as you can tell it was cut off in here then it grew two new tops then I thought oh I need to make it busher right so what I did I cut once again in here and in here but it decided to put only one top once again so what I will do soon I will do another experiment and cut it again because I love to experiment like that I mean it's already looks more interesting than just one you know top right right do you agree so this is you know the simplest part about this experiment so I was just pr pruning this uh, rubber plant right even this video was posted one year ago but right now it started to trend on my channel and I'm like oh no <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> because guys I I had a nice pair of a eyebrows in this video i mean if you look in my oldest videos i looked fantastic <laughs> i had much stronger accent at that time what i did i cut off the top of this rubber plant it had two tops and they i cut both of them they lost some leaves but we will get there so this is the tops and also from the tops I cut some leaves off and put them in the water, right? This is also another experiment. So in this episode there will be three plants, three experiments. Look at these roots. Can you believe it? These roots grow out of one flipping leaf. That was fun, but it's so weird that it started to trend right now. And most of you started to ask me how this experiment is going. Because what I did in that experiment, I cut off the tops and I put them in the water to root, right? Normal, nothing new here. But what I also did, I put simple leaves in water to propagate so no stem at all just leaf and these leaves grew enormous roots so I put it up and I am looking at them right now they're still alive they're still here and I want to share an update with you guys because it seems like you're interested and I did not thought about it because actually they were standing in one of my windowsills and I was just not paying too much attention to them because they're not doing too much to be honest but today only for you guys i will dig them out and show you what's going on inside of the pots so first of all let's look this is the top as you can tell it grows new beautiful leaves right it looks kind of okay and what i would do to suggest for you if you want to experiment like me don't put these small cuttings of rubber plant in terracotta pots because they dry out so quickly and I just always forget to water this poor guy so most of the time it would, it would dry out to the bone and rubber plants I mean they don't love to stay in moist soil right but they don't like to dry out that much so it was struggling a bit but right now it looks okay and I will report it when I'm ready for reporting but right now I'll just take it out and show you what's inside so let's do it don't worry i'm not doing this on my pants <laughs> so if you look closer they're pretty nice root system right it looks like they're really dry once again and he would love a bit of water so i will ask my boyfriend a little bit to help me out and pot him once again but i will use another pot i will use a um, a ceramic pot so it won't dry that fast but nothing too special about this as you can tell this is a top it was a branch of this rubber plant right and it just rooted and it's growing a new plant you know nothing too special about it it works what a surprise right but then we have these leaves and this are the leaves that I just put in the water and they grew enormous roots and they I put them in the soil once again let them dry too much to admit <laughs> but they are still here they are you know still alive I think 
so let's just see what's going on inside because as you can tell there are no stems coming out no new tops so what i am thinking that probably this is the case like with hoya if you will pot up a, a leaf it probably will stay just like a leaf you know like it's popular to grow hoya carrii i think the heart leaf heart shaped leaf in one pot right so i think this is the case with rubber plant as well but i might be wrong so let's see okay we have lots of roots if you would look inside you see there the marks of the roots inside right look at that so here ooh, are the roots right you see how wooded this is right so i think this might be the case i mean they will stay like that like little rabbit ears right but nothing much will happen because they were like this in the spot for one year and one month so it's been a while to grow something you know and they are alive they are getting a very woody stem but nothing else so you know nothing else going on so i think that's how it will stay if you want to experiment like that so i don't know i will put them back in the pot well probably my boyfriend will but but i think this is about how far it gets you know i will still look for them you know maybe in a year something will happen i mean i have place to keep them so you know they don't have to pay me rent <laughs> they just can't stay there and we will see in the future i will obviously share one update once again maybe after a year if i will still be alive and here in this youtube channel but if i will i'll obviously do some updates and let me know if you are interested in more plenty experiments because i had this kind of uh, youtube videos called living experiments <laughs> so if you, if you are still interested in me doing some experiments with my plants because i have someone in my mind and to be honest i loved doing this it was so much fun so just let me know if you would be interested in watching some yourself and maybe trying them out yourself as well so yeah but this is an update they're alive they're okay not thriving but this might be my fault and they're caught up pot so that's about it for today's video i think i spent sitting too much time and i feel it already so once again i wanted to thank you all for your support for your watch time for watching my commercial because right now it's the time when i really need that money guys and so I'm sorry if it gets annoying for you because i put a little bit too much maybe commercials just let me know when i just cross the point you know cross the line and just <laughs> but that's the time when i need it trust me so don't forget to follow me on my other social medias because on my instagram i share my pictures of rocky and actually right now while i was still at bed i was searching my phone and i found some beautiful pictures of baby rocky when the first day when i met him the picture of this fluffy little potato you know i'll probably put it up here and he was so small and tiny and i wrote all the story how everything happened so if you want to know a little bit more about my life don't forget and go follow me because i love to share details about my life and some funny stories some interesting stories and some recipes sometimes <laughs> so that's about it i think I oh i almost forgot so i have a lot of time well i had because next week i will go to work but from home don't worry i will work from home well i will try i'm not sure about it yet because it hurts to sit to be honest but i also had some time to search for new plant shops and new plant specimens and guys i found something exciting and i haven't seen this plants in youtube plant community uh, for a long time i think one i have never ever seen i found this plant first time ever in front of my eyes so this is a new plant and another plant is my wishlist plant so in the future very very near future i will do an unboxing very exciting unboxing so stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because lots of fun videos are coming i'm back on track almost <laughs> i'm trying so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video to comment 
Until the next time, guys. Soil hands. <laughs>